What's going on everybody? It's Shameful Penguin here back with another video today. We're going to be creating a shadow uh, and then we're going to be ascending as an assassin. I'm going to be leveling with you guys today. Uh, we're going to go act by act. I'm going to explain my thoughts, do all that kind of stuff. And I guys, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. Um, it's going to be a little more of me just talking, hanging out with you guys than uh, instructing like build videos and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So we're going to create our character. <laughs> Excuse my coughs. I have this random cough that's been happening. Um, and we're going to name ourselves something creative. Um, yeah, super creative name. Um, but we click shadow. And we're, we're going to start it into this. I hope you guys uh, find this useful, especially if you're a new player. So first thing I'm doing right here is changing my buttons. If you left click on the buttons, you can change it to any of your attacks. And I want left click as move and I also put T as move and that's because we can move while in our window that way so you're gonna pick up your weapon first on the ground and then once you do that you talk to the exile and you hit him pick up the gem and equip the gem into your um, weapon now um, I, I can move while in this window without clicking because I'm holding T and this makes it so I can like click my gems while walking up and right which is always pretty much the correct path in the first area you want to go up and right um, up if you can't go right and along the shore that'll lead you to another box where you grab your first support gem and you can socket that in to your weapon just follow the shore you can ignore all the monsters because um, you don't really need to uh, fight them it's pretty simple and you're just going to basically auto attack and kill Hillock really quick. So just use your uh, potions on cooldown. <laughs> and it's a pretty easy fight. Just pretty much hold right click the entire time. Um, we got pretty lucky and we got currency right away. But you're pretty much going to pick up everything. And that's because um, we can just vendor it right away. Get some uh, a little bit of currency. You can spec your first point where you want to. And we're going to do talk to Nessa. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't get any wands. Uh, we can be using double daggers, but I don't want to. I'm looking for a uh, blue, 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 or blue, blue, green wand. I don't see any of that, so we're going to ignore. We're going to look at Tarkley. We're going to pick up Stormblast Mine for our scenario, but you can pick up anything else. Explosive Trap and Freezing Pulse are also really good. Uh, we're going to type NN because that will find us boots with movement speed. NN means for like the runner's prefix on it. And we'll just put on another dagger. Um, I'll do ID the helmet, take off that, and then we'll vendor the other things away. Now we can take off these gems and sell them as well just to get... Um, more uh, scroll fragments and we can head on our way so you don't have to talk to everyone as uh, I'll go back just to show you guys I left Bestel with an explanation point on his head and he will tell you like a quest to do if you talk to him but you don't have to ever talk to them because uh, they will um, you will if you do the quest without talking to them you'll automatically just complete it when you turn it in so you don't have to talk to everyone every time in town but if you want to, just because you don't know what to do, that's perfectly fine. So um, another thing that I did while I was talking is uh, when you click on your uh, your skill, so put your skill wherever you want, if you click on it, there's a button that says always attack without moving. And you're pretty much going to want to have that clicked on almost every, um, every skill, every skill except for dash to my knowledge. We actually want to move these. And that's because um, it just makes it so you don't like... If you click to move out of range, like out of your casting range, it'll force walk your character um, until they're in range and it'll cast. But instead, if I'm like out of range, it either won't cast... It won't cast and it'll, it'll just... Or it'll just like cast to its furthest extent. So... Pretty cool. We're ignoring her because she's going to take too long to kill. And you're going to want to head 
like south in our scenario sometimes you want to head east like to the right but you basically want to get back to the shore and she's going to follow us all the way down here so i'm just going to click the waypoint and dip and not explain so i can ignore her you can kill her if you want i just think she takes too much time But we head into the mud flats other than the uh, tidal coast because uh, we can use a waypoint we're gonna find and to come back there. And it just makes it a little bit faster. So you're gonna grab these row of nests. There should be three of them. Four rounds should be an easy mark to beat. They're kind of in a um, generally they're in like a. Uh, oh. To pick up that wand as well i saw a wand uh they're generally in like a um a tr well like three points are pretty much always in a triangle unless they're um straight but usually they're um pretty triangular as in they're not like a straight line across nope it might be up there i'm gonna check down a little bit more just in case we're looking for an explanation mark and we don't want that one because that's our way out. I know it just based on the the way uh, the map's laid out. So we do want gloves. So I can pick up gloves when we find some. Green, green, green boots. I think we'll take those instead. Oh, there it is. It's top left. So it kind of was right. Just kill everything. Uh, enemies that are blue, um, they're called magic, and uh, that's the rarity of them. And uh, those monsters generally drop more, so it's usually more worth your time if you're going to kill something to kill that. Uh, monsters that are white, so if you hover over their name and they're white, generally not as much worth the time unless they're in bigger packs. Or if they're being annoying, or if you just feel like killing something, then, then do you. But uh, yeah, we're going to grab this waypoint and we're going to head back to the point where I said uh, there's two areas, the coast, and that's when we're going to head into the tidal coast and finish that mission. So we're going to ignore her again, head to oh, tidal island, not coast, my bad. Now if you notice there's an area up here on the mud flats, you don't need to go in there, um, you don't need to... Completing that zone doesn't really do anything for you. It'll give you a... I believe it's an Orb of Regret. I haven't done it in a while. I don't remember what it gives. It might give like a belt or something. But uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on our path. We're level 4 and a level 3. So... It's good to keep an eye on what level the zone is. Because if you're under the zone, it might be worth your time to just kill a little more packs than normal just to give yourself more XP and you can do that by hitting tab you'll see the map on your screen and the top right it'll say monster level so we got our scepter we got our two wands so we're pretty good we don't need those scepters I was picking up scepters just in case I never found wands and we want wands because we can do a crafting recipe on them and also they're easier to work with because they like work with like everything I'm just killing these guys there we go pretty worth killing him because I ended up getting so we get a portal scroll pretty much guaranteed and you're gonna want to use that here and dip head to town and turn in some quests so now you can talk to the people with explanation points so Nessa and Tarkley and they'll give you stuff so Nessa you're always gonna want to take Quicksilver I don't care what class you are um, I didn't grab it and then for your second reward we're gonna grab Swift Assembly in our case if you're running pretty much the same build as me and now we want a uh, blue green link and we don't have that so we're gonna talk to Nessa um, she's giving really credit wands um, is there any so we're gonna go look for Tarkley he's gonna give us uh, uh, orb of storms and frost blank see if there's any runners boots no luck See if there's any blue, blue, green uh, gloves. And they have to be linked. It would be perfect if this had this extra link. Um, no luck. 
No luck in the blue blue green department. So that's unfortunate. But we're gonna swap to wands. Uh, so we gotta take out the first one. So 12%. We'll take both of those. Put Stormblast Mine in. We could also purchase gems from Nessa if we go to her second tab when we buy from her. There's like an Arcane Surge in there because that's going to give us a little damage. Swift Assembly, put it right there so it levels up. Orb of Storms, Frost Blink. You want to just put them anywhere so they get there. Um, we got the Medium Life Flask so we can socket that in as well. Then we can just vendor the rest. Yep. And now we're good. So we can head back to Submerge Passage and back our skill point. Make sure you click the attack without moving on both of them. I actually want you right there. Oh, heading the wrong way. Now we have our first travel skill. It's pretty good. If you grab dash, it's pretty good. Um, don't press attack without moving on dash. And that's because you'll dash backwards. I don't know why, but it'll just happen. With every death, I live a little bit more. But uh, now we're doing pretty good. We're doing a lot more damage than when we had daggers, because uh, wands are a lot better. Having the flat increase damage is so much better than cr uh, the crit chance. Sp especially for early. So there's going to be two areas here. Um, one's the way out. And then one's going to be the Flooded Depths, which I found. I was That's why I was like hesitant about going uh, straight through. I was trying to hug kind of the walls. And you'd find a Flooded Depths. Now, don't worry if you don't find it. Just continue on with uh, what, where you're going. And when you get to your next waypoint, then you'll just teleport back to Summer's Passage. And because uh, the reason you don't want to skip it is because it is a quest with, that gives you a skill point. Any quest that gives you a skill point are super important to do. Um, I want to actually have orb stars there. So just drop it. Just hang. Now orb storms is pretty strong. It's like a secondary attack, and once it does enough damage, we can just straight up like just drop it places and leave. So having a blue blue green link for our main. Uh, attacks so our mines and then a blue 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 link will be really good so we can have it for our storms so that's what I'm looking forward to do so we're basically looking for this dweller of the deep kind of dude use frost blink every once in a while it's extra damage kill the guys on the side if you uh, if you have to they'll do a little bit of damage to you if you don't There we go. So grabbing the yellow items are the best. Looking if anything else is useful. And we can head back. Oh, yeah, the boots, blue, green, that's what we wanted. So we can finally link our stuff. So we can take off those boots, put in Stormblast, that, and our Swift Assembly. There we go. Now we can look at this. Mana regen, that's not really going to be helpful. Let's yeah. see if Nessa wants to sell us. Now she wants to sell us a blue, blue, green, and a blue, blue, blue. And we're actually going to take both of those because if we find boots with movement speed, we're going to use them instead of um, boots with links because movement speed is cooler. So no luck on the runner's Stay boots. I'm going to claim that so we can get our points. Use that for our frost plank. Our, our orbit storms is actually going to be linked there. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to change the. Nope, we'll do it next time, next level up. So we can just sell our stuff right now. We can identify this. Um, I mean, it is better. No, I like the nine rat cold res. So we can use the amulet and we have some iron rings on which are pretty useless but we can actually 
do this little trick where you're gonna get a blue gem and we'll do it twice you know what we're gonna sell these and then we're gonna sell our blue gems and we'll make sapphire rings and sapphire rings are much cooler now we're not using them until level eight and iron rings weren't giving us that stuff anyways but down are their uh, sapphire rings and when we fight the first act boss she does mostly cold damage so we're gonna be pretty tanky for her oh before I get, forget to mention another trick you can do with uh, mines is actually set your detonate button to left click and if you do that you can just attack while moving basically you just like walk and you're just a walking Tacky boy, I don't want the chest on, but I do like the links. So they just immediately detonate when, because if you hold uh, walk button, I mean you'll still stop to attack. But you can do this through your leveling process. But I generally just like having walk on there, and I detonate it with D, and that's pretty comfortable for me. So we found the way out. Small life. Eh, we'll grab it. Did I sell my small life flasks? No. So we can actually upgrade our flasks. So three of any flasks will upgrade to the next tier. So if you upgrade three smalls, which we do. Small. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Three, three small flasks. They'll upgrade to a medium. And then three medium will upgrade to a large. So it's pretty cool. So we're grabbing damage before we grab that life node. Um, just because I'm feeling good on life right now. And it's good to check what level you are in the area. Uh, by hitting tab, I can see I'm monster level 6. And I can see I'm level 7. So I don't really need to kill that much. I'll just kill it when the pack density gets large. Use your uh, Quicksilver Flask pretty much on cooldown. Because you get charges when you kill things. So... You just go uh, go ahead and just pretty much use it. Uh, medium. Pick all those up. So we picked up this because it has one socket of each color. And that means if we vendor it, we'll get a chromatic orb. Oh, that's a coral amulet. We don't need that. We have a lapis amulet. Ooh, we got a speed shrine. So speed shrines are going to feel real good for leveling. Because you use movement speed, action speed, just everything speed. It's pretty strong. Transmutation orb is really strong. So I'm not killing um, him. This is a big blue pack that I'm going to actually kill. So that'll give us a lot. I'm not picking up blue items that often because I don't want to fill my inventory. But if I know I'm heading back, well, actually, I'm heading back soon, so I'll pick up, pick it up. Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna head back right after this. Um, so once we do the climb, we're gonna uh, head into the prison, and then once we're in the prison, we will be. <laughs> Um, heading back to town so it's like really soon like we're heading back like immediately when we hit next area we won't go through another area so this is our last zone so uh, basically you don't have to grab that waypoint I just grabbed it because I found it um, if you're going for speed if you're trying to be as quick as possible you'd ignore that waypoint me as a kind of a casual kind of no as in like I don't race I play this game a lot but I don't I'm not good at racing I can mediocre times if I'm like really trying but uh, nothing compared to actual racers I look like I'm standing still AFK in town half a game And then we're gonna kill Fawn. So you don't have to kill the Fawn right here, but you kill it just to make it so you can get Nivali if it's your first time playing or if it's first time per league. Um, I was killing it just so you guys could like imitate it. 
you can just run straight past them if you already have Navali. Like, you saw how the cage was already open for me. If that was you, you could just run past it. Not worry about it. You could actually make it so the cage doesn't even open. It's just kind of funny if you run behind the cage. But, uh, I don't need to do that. So now that we're pretty good on stuff, we can upgrade our flask. So you're going to grab added lightning pretty much 10 out of 10 times if you're an assassin. Um, we're also going to be grabbing... We'll grab a second added lightning because we do have a uh, two three links right now. So we got Stormblast Mine. We got Swift Assembly, we got Arcane Surge. So we got Arcane Surge, Added Lightning, Orc Storms. Stormblast Mine, Added Lightning, Swift Assembly. And now we got another uh, blue, blue, green that we don't need. Cool. Now we're overkill. So now we can vendor stuff. Uh, life last, life last, life last. We'll make a medium. And I can sell three of these to get a large, but you know what I'll do it having a small mana right there uh, we can put on our sapphire ring and we have an alteration orb so we can do a little trick to add added cold on our stuff um, yeah I'll do it for that one so what we're gonna do with the recipe is is you use a transmute orb on your wand to make sure that it has a mod, which is pretty good. Then you're gonna sell it with a uh, an alteration orb and a sapphire ring, and you get added cold. Now, if I do this to a topaz ring, I'll get added lightning, which actually I'm gonna do instead. Now that I'm thinking about it, why am I being dumb? Um, so if I grab a green gem, sell it with an iron ring, I get a topaz ring, and I sell that topaz ring with alteration, I get added lightning. So now that I have added lightning, I'll just aug it, so I got cast speed, I got pretty lucky. Cast speed's really good. <laughs> now we're pretty strong wand. Uh, as our other wand, um, we don't have another transmute, so I can't make this a magic item. No, since I can't make it a magic item, I can't do the trick. So we're going to talk to... We don't need to talk to anyone else, actually. Now I think about it. So that was the, um, the wand recipe, which is pretty strong recommend that you guys use it but in the prison um we are there is a trial of ascendancy says the lord's labyrinth over here that's how you know a trial's in here so we're going to be running around looking for that if you find the way out instead i guess you can continue and come back here later on when you need to run lab which i do recommend that you find all of them if you need to if this is like your second or third character you don't need to refine them but I'm doing it just uh, so you guys uh, kind of get like the experience I'm playing as a new character with you guys. So now that I see the book in the top corner, it could be in the bottom corner too. But if you see a book, you know, in this area, you know that means it's a trial of ascendancy. So now we're going to follow the spikes to this lever. Click the lever. Oh, I didn't make it. I must grab. And I'm not going to make this one. So you're just going to go around the spikes. There's going to be enemies up here. You're going to kill them all. So good at this. Or the storms look like it's doing a little bit of damage. Then you jump up here. You can just like walk around there if you had to. Like through here. But you talk to this plaque and you'll see the first one light up at the prison. Now you need all of them lit up to do the trial. And we'll continue doing this as we're playing the game. So it's pretty simple concept but if you guys are brand new it might be a little more complicated but kind of just follow what I'm doing just look for the way out now to the upper prison and we're gonna be fighting um, our like first mid boss this isn't the act boss even though he's like kind of as tough as a act boss I mean he's like not not tough but he's just like as tough as a, mid, uh, a boss for an act, I think, this early. So we got some links on some things. I picked those up because having links is really good on items. Um, we might swap out them out later, but holding on to them for now is just, we have options. So 
so we can see we're uh, we're moving pretty well. Um, we grab our calculated uh, whatever it's called. Wait, what? Cold hearted calculation. I thought the first word is calculation. I got so confused. That'll give us some good damage early game. Now, if you are using a different skill in the end game, your tree may differ from the one I'm using. And uh, the one I'm using is kind of just made up in my head and not written down entirely. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's kind of how I, I kind of just wing it. Um, I kind of know the travel nodes for the most part. So I, uh, I grab what I think I need. So we're level 11. I think Brutus is level 10. I think... So we're level 9 here. Now actually it might be level 9. So we're 2 over the area, which is pretty OP. We only have one life last though, which is kind of sad. I kind of went um, full monkey on upgrading my stuff. So we have one life last. we got to remember that. Unless... Uh, nope. Unless... I'll, usually when I say stuff it's like makes fun of me by dropping the thing I need so I'm trying to have streamer RNG right now bro so we'll just drop our stuff watch out for his ground slam he's just gonna want run at me an auto attack hooks are pretty dangerous because if he uh, hooks and then he like oh gosh that did a lot more damage if he hooks and then does that stomp thing or whatever it'll do a lot but we're just like running away, debating him with mines. Orb storms will pretty much kill him. Pretty easy fight. So small life flask, I guess. Everything else here is kind of bad, but we'll just pick it up because why not? We can drop it later. Um, grab that small life. So we have two life flasks, even though one's a tiny life flask that gives us like peanuts for X or uh, HP. Grab our waypoint. <coughs> and now you generally follow the path on most maps. But this map is pretty different in the fact that you see the path, you want to get off the path and go to the edges. Um, this is because one of the areas will open up like this. And then you'll head up here. It's only one of the sides. It might be down, it might be up. But uh, for our case, it's that way so this looks like it might go this way is it up this way yep doing pretty good on the detecting the way to go should be using orbit storms now that it does more damage large life or mana wish it was life so we can only drop one orbit samples at a time and that's a sad thing because frost bomb if you're playing a different build and you get frost Actually, do we get Frost Bomb here? I didn't check. I think we get Frost Bomb and I didn't grab it for some reason. Frost Bomb is probably one of the best leveling skills. Because it's kind of like Orb of Storms where you drop it and it does damage, except for it like waits and it blinks, blink, 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 and then it detonates. And it does an insane amount of early damage, so it's just super easy to level with. But uh, when I'm leveling Witch, I pretty much always use it. So here we're looking for the, um, that guy wants to kill me, for the sunken ship or something like that. Topaz ring, we'll pick that up. Um, we'll drop some of these blue items that we don't need. And we're going to pick up the rares, because rares spend her for a lot more. So we found the exit. So this is, um... Not worst case scenario, but this is a worser case. So we're gonna go up here, grab our waypoint, and I'm gonna actually gonna head back to the ship graveyard right here. And we want to look for, which is actually pretty lucky now, ship's graveyard. <laughs> you want to find the ship's graveyard first, ideally, and that's because uh, it will uh, be, I think, a little faster if you find it first. And I'll explain the, uh, the the difference from finding it first versus not finding it first once uh, we finish this part. So, I mean, I guess 
I could talk about it now. So the main difference is we're going to uh, portal back to town and then we're going to go and kill Fairgraves and then portal back again. It's a little more complicated, whereas usually um, we would exit this area and then just straight up look for the exit. And that's because we get the all flame and then we talk to Fairgraves and then Fairgraves gives us, uh, we kill, do his quests and we turn it in. It's pretty simple. And it, like, if you like don't do it optimally, like you like run back and you like run all the way to Fairgraves to find him, other than waypointing and or portaling to town. Don't worry about it. You only save a few seconds. Like if you're racing, carved launcher. If you're racing, saving a few seconds is really really good if you can. But uh, you don't need to kill. Um, uh, strangle charm right here. I do a lot of damage, so I'm going to just in case drop something good, which is a greater life flask. So it did. But um, if you don't have huge DPS, you don't. So what I'm gonna do in this scenario, other than so, if you didn't find the exit, now what you would do is keep running upwards to find the exit. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use a portal to go back to town. I'm gonna waypoint to the ship graveyard and then do the fair graves quest because he's always right next to the waypoint you just pretty much look for this book and then you'll find a sh find him if you find the little book thingy so you're going to talk to him you're going to give you a few seconds so i can look at things in my inventory medium medium so you just kill these waves of enemies pretty simple pretty much it so so I don't waste my portal scrolls so I'm gonna head back um, I'm gonna grab that node just damage early game damage means damage late game increased damage means eh so we're gonna talk to Nessa grab your new gem which we will grab so you can have lightning trap um, Lightning Trap is really good if you want to start being a Lightning Trap build. Um, Essence Drain Contagion, this is where you start popping off. I'm going to grab the book from him. We're actually going to ID the Chain Belt because it's pretty much guaranteed to be better than our current one. Small Life Flask. I'm trying to see if there's anything I need to upgrade. I'll ID these because we'll sell them. Um, we also get Stormbrand here if you're like higher front or a Witch. And if you're a shadow, you don't get Stormbrand here, unfortunately. Oh, for this one, we're definitely grabbing a Smoke Mine or Flame Dash or both. We're gonna grab both. So I'll go over my full um, setup. Actually, we want our blue, blue, blue now. Good thing I did it there. And we'll do it on the Topaz Ring. Do I have another? Oh. Okay, so I gotta sell some stuff. So I'll explain once I sell everything. So we want a blue, blue, blue. So we'll sell those. Yeah. So we have flame dash. So we don't want frost blink anymore. And we want smoke mine. We want smoke mine because uh, I like running with smoke mine. <laughs> That's the real reason. Um, so sell, that's a large, it's a medium, so we'll keep the medium. We will not sell that, we'll sell that. Hmm. So we don't have enough for transmutation. That's a bummer. So I guess we'll just keep that. Oh, not that. What am I doing? You want add a lightning. Storm brand and um, do I want crits? Do I want hmm? So you can type support for support gems. Maybe just arcane surge. Yeah, I guess I'll just do arcane surge and then 
Hmm. Actually, we'll sell these. So we'll keep this medium. Everything else we can get rid of. Yeah. So we're going to start running with brands and smoke mine. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. But what that looks like is, um, so we have storm brand, attack without using, we have flame dash, cast without using, smoke mine, cast without using, and um, I could have vendored that. So our setup is um, a storm brand setup, so lightning and um, arcane. We have our same orb of storm setup. We have a smoke mine and a flame dash. So why we do this is if we flame dash twice you see how the second cast took a while um, if you use smoke mine instead it like bypasses the like the longevity of it casting so I usually <laughs> um, don't use storm brand or don't switch until I've killed the act boss but I kind of just wanted to use it early Boss fight's gonna be worse than if we stayed with Stormblast Mine. So if you stick with Stormblast Mine until after this boss kill, it'd actually be kind of smarter, which I should have done. Which I do have that set up to do it, so I'm gonna do it actually. So Stormblast, Swift Assembly, Added Lightning, and we'll keep our Stormblasts. We'll put that there. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep doing this. So don't worry about starting Stormbrand until after you've beaten the act, because uh, we're killing the boss next. But it's good to equip the new gem that you want to use, because uh, it's just leveling up in your back pocket, basically. And this is not going to curl that way. So now we head this way. Smoke mine's really fun to use. It's a really strong um, movement skill, so I really enjoy it. If you tag it along with another movement skill, they just kind of combo really well. You could use it with Frost Blink if you really wanted to, or Dash, or Standalone. But uh, Flame, Flame Dash, Smoke Mine's my favorite setup because you just feel so speedy. You feel like you just move two screens away really quick, which you basically do. You're like, bloop, bloop, super far away. And if you're leveling with your friends and you end up taking this setup, you'll notice that you just kind of like zoom away from them. <laughs> I sometimes do that. It's pretty funny. So we're going to tag her with uh, all our mines. She's going to teleport. So stacking mines is uh, sometimes not worth it. And that was a quick kill because we did stick with Starbox Mine. If I didn't, this fight would still be going on for another like 40 seconds. So we're gonna stick the brand on her, put her in the arc or the Orb of Storms. So she likes to teleport a lot. So uh, don't worry too much about stacking. Just try to get damage out, and you will end up winning pretty fast so anything else oiled fast doesn't want to be picked up um we'll keep that we'll grab the oiled vest so we can vendor it but that's gonna be end of the video um this is now act two once you killed um Mervell and uh well now we're in the forest <laughs> as you get the point of him talking anyways guys that was the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this for and i don't know why i said that word we'll see you guys in the next video later